All right, here we go again. Um, sorry about that. My battery was dying on my laptop, so I had to get it plugged in. And so now we're all set. So there's so much on this case to cover, and it's so hard to keep up. And, you know, you're going to miss a lot of things. My goal here is to try to put things in a nutshell version so that people can get caught up really quickly on you know, the key factors. Um, so right now, one of the key factors that's brand new is perfume bottles. Have, have you guys heard about the perfume bottles? The tow truck driver who went out to um, the other lake, not Placer Lake, but the, the one next to it, I'll think of it in a minute. Um, he went out there on Saturday, August 6th at 11 o'clock is what it sounds like. Um, that'll all be verified by electronic data. Um, he says that he went to a call for dead battery for um, Kylie's vehicle, and he interacted with a young blonde woman who introduced herself to him as Kylie, and a guy whose description sounds like it could be the ex-boyfriend, um, and he said something about another group of people that they were with that was kind of hanging off in the background, but he described the interaction as very peculiar and that, um, this young woman was asking him some bizarre questions like how to fasten her seatbelt. Um, could she show him how to do it really good to make sure that it was done right? Blah, blah, blah. Um, also the battery wasn't dead. The car was simply in neutral. So when, um, they figured that out, you know, he was on his way, but he has dash cam videotape of the entire interaction. Cause that's what tow truck drivers do these days to protect themselves. And it has audio. So that's going to be extremely pivotal for the case. And especially, you know, was it actually Saturday or was it Friday? Or was it Sunday? <laughs> um, I thought he was intentionally being vague when he said Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, um, just to not interfere with the investigation. But uh, his girlfriend said that she knows it was Saturday the 6th because it was the same day as her father's birthday. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But one of the things he mentioned during the call, um, uh, other than the couple having a very odd uh, situation between themselves where they wouldn't be on the same kind side of the car at the same time. That when one would come around to the side that one was on, the other would go around to the other. And that he said they were obviously very uncomfortable with each other. He thought maybe they had a super rough night. Um, maybe they were hung over. Um, he didn't say he thought they'd been up all night, but I mean, that's what I would think in a situation like that. Um, anyway, uh, the perfume bottles in the console. This is the first time I'd ever heard anything about perfume bottles in the console. And apparently somebody else had mentioned them at some other point about, um, that she had perfume bottles in the console. And... It's an odd thing to have in your console. I mean, I love perfume and lotion and all kinds of great smells and aromatherapy, um, oils. I rarely have any of them in my car. Once in a while, um, like my lotion, because I'm running around a lot and have dry skin. But um, for the most part, I, I try not to just because, you know, I don't want things piling up in my car. Um, so why were there perfume bottles in the car? It's very, very curious to me. Um, so let me grab my glasses, check out my notebook, and let's see. This, this other guy, this other guy whose name may or may not start with an N. <laughs> um, it's so hard. You know, you don't want to be making allegations but you also want to take the information that you have and look at it and work with it. Um, especially when so many of us are concerned that Kylie's family is not going to get justice. Um, I've heard people speculate that maybe 
uh, her family was kind of like an outcast from the community just because they lived off the grid and homeschooled her. Um, I don't think for her entire um, education because she graduated from a charter school. Um, I don't know if she went to the public school at some point um, or not. But, um, you know, it sounds like they could be scapegoated uh, or, um, you know, kind of shunned. And it also sounds like the person who took control of the investigation, the teenager, um, her parents being a private eye and an attorney and owning their own private eye firm in that small, tight-knit community, um, they probably have a lot of friends in the Placer County Sheriff's Department. And honestly, uh, that Placer County Sheriff, he needs to be, he needs to have his feet held to the fire for what was going on with that teenager. Also for what was going on with um, Kylie's investigation for the first two weeks. Why did they not find her if she was right there? Yes, we're all human. Yes, we all make mistakes. Yes, it's a lot of area to cover, but that's your job. You had 20,000 manpower hours out there. You had 18 entities, really? 60 professionals? I mean, it just can't get any more embarrassing than that. And I think I even heard something real recent that it's like the largest um, search in the recent history of California or in all the history of California. Um, I don't know, but you know, for Adventures with Purpose to go out there and find her so quickly is both glorious and it makes you scratch your head. I mean, come on, that's logical. Um, our friend over here, Mr. Ryan Upchurch, who has said many brilliant things and some completely crazy things. Um, and I think he says those crazy things intentionally. You know, he, he likes to... Um, be a wild card and he gets people to talk. I mean, he got Ikmael to have Ronnie call in. He got um, that other dude to say a whole bunch of crazy stuff. He got Xanime to say and do some silly stuff. You know, he knows what he's doing. He, he knows how to play. And, you know, these people think it's a game. Um, these people that commit crimes and have connections that they know they can get away with it or they think they can get away with it it's all fun and games to them you know it, it's money it's power it's popularity um it's they don't see it as real life i don't even think you know i think they've played so many video games and they're so out of touch with um reality they don't understand that you know, terminating a person's life is disgusting, absolutely sick and evil. And you will have hell to pay. You will have hell to pay. And if somebody's life was terminated accidentally, you don't try to cover it up. You tell the truth. You deal with it. Um, it it's just horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Um, so, you know, my fear was that it was going to continue to be covered up or that it still might be. And I'm wondering if that's where Adventures with Purpose is coming from with their baiting the public saying we have two more videos. We're going to wait and see what direction the investigation goes in before we d decide what to do with them. Um, so, you know, they make every indication that they suspect foul play. And none of us want there to be foul play. Um, yeah, true crime is a, is a big money-making industry, but I don't think that's why a lot of people that I know are in it. Um, I'm not in it for the money. I'm not in it for any glory. I'm in it to try to help people that need the help, the families, the victims. Um, I'm in it because I want our communities to be safe. And when we have uh, crooked leadership or politicians, nobody is safe. Nobody. 
Um, even if you're like in with them and, and you're, you know, part of that uh, inside track, you could be next. You just don't know. Um, things get crazy even when you're doing everything right. Things get crazy. So, um, you know, one of the things that the diver Nick said he saw was something about shoes in, in the car. And I was curious about that. Like if, again, this is pure speculation. If they were sneakers and Kylie didn't have any shoes on, or let's even say that they were boots and Kylie didn't have any shoes on. Oh, although we did, um, what was it that they said she was wearing? Like black high tops? I can't remember what they said she was wearing because you couldn't see them in any of the photographs. It looked like she maybe had some white shoes on. But um, whatever the shoes were, I'm thinking, are those the shoes that he saw? Were they on her feet or off her feet? Um, and if they were off her feet, did it look like they could have just come off her feet or were they taken off her feet? I'm very curious what attire she had on or didn't have on, what attire was in the vehicle. The white hoodie, Odd Future with pink writing, or the black hoodie, Lana Del Rey. You don't want to be forgotten, you just want to disappear. Um, you know, these are very um, basic vital pieces of evidence. So, you know, they have a lot of evidence now that they have the car and now that they have the body. Um, it's so, so awful. And had they not ever found the car and the body, they could have just left it as a cold missing persons case for all of eternity. That's how that stuff is done. Um, it, it's just horrifying. So let me wrap this up. I think that that's all I wanted to cover here in the morning. I know there's going to be so much going on today um, with all of this coming unfolded. So why did Kate Kumo not go to that party? Anybody know what, what she has said why she didn't go? Um, and I'm also curious how old she is. Is she one of the kids that graduated or is she um, one of the kids that was, you know, from one of the uh, younger classmen like uh, like Mags? I think Mags was uh, just finished 10th or 11th grade. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I hope that there is justice. I hope that things are done appropriately. I hope that there's no, no cover up, um, no sugar coating. Uh, the truth needs to be known. And I said this before it, the whole unvarnished truth needs to be known by the family. Um, as grisly as it, it can be, they need to know they might not need to see photographs and things with their very own eyes because that's just horrific but they need to know they they need to know in order to understand what wtf man <laughs> like uh so the public on the other hand may never know and that's fine we don't need to know we we need to be sure that justice is had for kylie Rodney's family for her mother, her father, her stepdad, her granddad, grandmother, aunt, little brother, anybody, anybody that cared about her. And I know that so many people did. I mean, she was a force to be reckoned with. And I'm afraid that that might be what cost her her life. Um, jealousy. Jealousy rears its ugly head. We shall see. I'm going to be trying to do a video um, daily. So I'm going to cut this one right here and see you on the flip side. Thank you.